Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? It's Susie, it's Susie time, and it's Thursday afternoon, and it is 20 past 4. Hmm, and it's a day off, it's a day off. So, first of all, there's a ghost on YouTube, because I did a video back in November where I was singing a song, and that video, no matter what I tried doing, it would not upload. So I finally gave up. And I think I sang half of the song to my cat, Bogey. So if some of you are confused about this song where I'm falling to pieces, and it's done with my old lighting and everything, that was done back in November, and I have no idea how it just uploaded itself. But it did, because when I came to my computer this morning, being so tech-savvy now, First thing I do when I get up is I go on YouTube. You know, I have my one cup of tea. Yeah, get into YouTube. And I'm getting these email things about this, this video that I had no idea what they were talking about. Anyway, so that's what happened there. I have no idea. Second of all, it's bloody warm here. Because in that video I'm saying I'm freezing. No, 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 no. It's like two degrees outside or something like that. Bring out the bikinis, the mint bikinis, the sun umbrellas, and everything else. I'm already being blinded by my, my new lighting. I've got two LED lights over there. If I look at them, I'll be blinded. Two LED lights on my table with no lampshades on them so you can get the full look of me. And at least I'm not glowing in the dark, like I said before. So this is me. This is the best I can do. I have rearranged my whole area here. So I feel like uh, all I need is a swivel chair because one of these days I'm going to fall on my RC. Anyway, so it's good to see you all, even though I can't see you, but you can see me, but I can visualize you. And first of all, I want to thank all my new subbies because I did reach 300. And this morning I reached 300 and I said, ooh. So I sent a private email to the person that subscribed. And that was over that video, I think. That wasn't supposed to be there. And I thanked her for being my 300th video. But sweetheart, you still are my 300th video, despite whatever happened. And then I went to check to see if I had 301, 302. And I had 298. So two people unsubscribed to me. What are you going to do? Eh? What are you going to do? So, anyway, I'm almost at 300. Last time I looked, I was at 298. But you never know, because I haven't checked my email. So, what am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about... Good news, good news, good news. Poopsie Whoopsie. Poopsie Whoopsie, who is a very, very dear friend of mine for the past three years. He's, um, I thought he was Greek, but he's Armenian. He's this very, very, very good looking, really nice man who is a dialysis patient. And he's got a, a wife, a beautiful wife who he adores, and two or three daughters. And his name, well, I'm not going to say his name. Uh, he's been not doing well at all. And we've all been really, really worried. Like, he keeps getting hospitalized for fluid around his lungs, which is very common for dialysis patients to have because we're not allowed to drink anything. And everything we drink, or the little bit we drink, it can go around our lungs and our heart. And uh, anyway, so the poor guy was up to four and a half hours of dialysis, and he was always being hospitalized, and he was getting gray-looking. And we were also worried, well, Monday he got a transplant. Oh my God, that made my week. I was so happy that Poopsie Whoopsie got a transplant. And the sad part is we won't see him anymore, but we're never sad for people to get transplants because they can go back and live a normal life for as long as their new kidney lasts them. Some people's kidneys last for 35 years. Some people's kidneys last for a couple of years. Some people last for seven years. Anyways, whatever, however long it lasts, he's going to be able to drink. He's going to be able to eat. He's going to have pink back in his cheeks. He's going to be able to not go to dialysis three days a week. And the saying in dialysis is when you're a dialysis patient is you stay at the hospital and you go home once in a while. And I found that out in the last three and a half years because it's quite true. But anyway, so that was a really, really fantastic mood. And the other thing is, is that spring is finally springing. It's raining out and miserable. But who cares? It's great. It's it's coming. We just got forecast to have 
10 centimeters of snow this weekend, but nah, it'll just fall and then it'll be gone. And I've even changed coats. So, what am I going to talk about? Uh, oh, okay, first of all, the blur. Remember the blur? Well, Holly Woggle, my best friend, um, she picked me up the Garnier blur, unbeknownst to me. And she picked herself up some Garnier blur, which really shocked me because she doesn't wear anything like that. And uh, she gave it to me. And I've been wearing it all week, and I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. I know L'Oreal and Garnier are owned by the same company or whatever it is that uh, it you and you said, but um, the Garnier, the Garnier one is so much easier to put on, and I've been using it as a primer. And I just put it on my face in the morning, and and my face just feels like feels like butter. Feels like butter. The other thing I've been using for a couple of months is my bee's knees. No, not my bee's knees. My Burt's Bees, Burt's Bees, Buzzy Buzzy, Buzzy, Burt's Knees. And it's an exfoliant. The only thing I didn't know when I bought it was that it's an exfoliant for people with blemishes. I don't have any blemishes. I'm a whole blemish. My whole face is a blemish. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, it is. Uh, anyway, this stuff here, fantastic. Fantastico! gets rid of all that dry dead skin and man if you can get rid of that stuff you're doing well another thing I got I've been using this ever since I saw Kelly McKelly's one of her first video one of the first videos I ever saw was Kelly McKelly with her glow in the with her hard candy glow and so I got some and I also have the bronze one which is like a brownie color which I'll be using in the summertime and you just mix a little dab of this with your makeup well, this little thing here that I got, it's called Wake Me Up, and it's by Rimmel. And it's sort of the same kind of thing, but it's in the color of peach. And I don't use it the same way. I just put some on my higher cheekbones under my blush, and I just sort of blend it in. And it is just beautiful because, you know, sometimes your blush will fade. Well, this doesn't fade, especially after I set it with my secret setting powder. Anyway, so I'm loving that. The top fell on the floor before. I have changed eye primers to Wet n Wild just to try something else because I only ever used e.l.f. so I figured I'd give this a try and uh, it's, it's fun. This I just adore, it's from BH Cosmetics, it's a blush and it's called Rose and it's exactly the same color. I love anything with boxes and mirrors, just love, you know, I've always, I've always been nuts over anything like Pandora's box, boxes, I love boxes not ugly but I like I have I have all kinds of decorative boxes in here and everything so this is the color and you sort of have to go across both colors because if not you'll come out looking like a, a tulip but it's so cute and it was so cheap and the payoff is great it's got it's got great it's got great 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 pigmentation as you can see see and that's something new and I love it and at the same time I had to buy something else. So I had seen a video of somebody using this, and I said, oh, is that ever cute? And she was saying that it wasn't expensive, so I looked on the BH Cosmetics site, and they were having a special, and it's called Forever Nude, and who can't use a Forever Nude? And so I got it, and it's got the two blushes. Actually, one could be used as a, a bronzer, and then it's got the little eyeshadow. Oh, it's got the blushes, the eyeshadows. I guess that's a high, highlighter and two, oh, there it goes. two lippies, two lippies. And I think it, it was under $15 and loving that. And my eye makeup today is sort of done with that and with my Naked 3. So, got that and what, uh, what else did I want to show you? Oh, I want to show you my boot. Now, as you know, I'm all a little bit, I'm a little wee bit eccentric. And aren't we all trying to save money? Well, I'm saving money, and so this is what I save it in. I'm sort of a blingy kind of gal. So this is my high top running shoe boot. And my sister knows my crazy taste, and so she gave me that for Christmas. And I was just in my room before, and I figured, oh, why not tell, why not show everybody my nutty piggy bank? So that's it. That's my high top boot. I wanted to show you my singing teddy bear, who
He was singing in the rain, but the battery wore out, so I couldn't do that. And um, anyway, thank you to all my new subbies. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I reached 300. I hope I'm not repeating myself because I did a video before and I had the radio on and I had to start over again. And I reached 300 and I sent a personal message to the subby thanking her for being my 300th subscriber. And then I went and checked my, my channel and I was down to 298 subscribers. So somebody unsubscribed to me. Two people. Hmm. Anyway, that happens. So anyways, little subby, you will always be my 300th subscriber because I think you were the 300th until two people unsubscribed to me. Maybe they didn't like my song. The song! The other video that's on there, uh, not Icky Breaky Heart, um, I Fall to Pieces, that is a total mystery to me because I did that back in November. And in the video I'm saying how freezing cold I am and everything else. And I go to my computer this morning because the first thing I do when I get up is I go to my computer and I go on YouTube because I'm... I can't not go to YouTube on the mornings that I don't go to dialysis. I'm all over it. Even when I go to dialysis, I try to go on and then I say, oh, shoot, I've got to go to dialysis and I can't finish watching somebody's video. So I go on and I'm getting these emails thanking me for singing this I Fall to Pieces and blah, 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 blah. And um, I did that thing back in November and it would never upload. And all of a sudden it just uploaded itself in the middle of nowhere. So that is kind of scary. It's kind of freaky, creepy. Hmm. But then these kind of things happen to me all the time. I have been doing a couple of tarot card readings, which is how I bought. Well, this is not. This is so cute. Look at this. I love it. It's. I love roses and I love morning glories. And this is the cutest little makeup bag. It's just plastic. And it's just, but it's the perfect size to put in my purse to bring with me. And uh, I have so many little makeup bags, but I saw this and I just fell in love with it. So I got that. And that is to go with my, uh -huh, with my new, uh, my new green purse. My new green purse. And the reason I love this purse is because it's got so many compartments in it. It's got like seven compartments. Uh -huh, and it's already full of stuff. And I think some of... Some of you, anybody wondering what that is? It's a little owl. Um, some, of, some of you know that I lost all my purses in the flood. In the flood! I lost every bloody high-end purse I have. Ada, Ada Solly, you, you know how I feel, eh, hon? Yeah, you do. I had, I had like beautiful purses. I used to be a purse freak. And I lost every one of my purses, and they were good purses. And one of my favorites was my real Betsy Johnson purse. And when a few of my friends saw that, they just sort of looked and went, you're going to carry that? And I said, well, you better believe it. And it had all little dingly danglies hanging off it, like my, like my piggy bank or my booty bank. And, and then I had, I had uh, the big Buddha bags. I had fossil bags. I had, oh, God, I had so many bags, but ah, it's stuff, right? So... The couple of purses that I have managed to buy since then, when you buy a cheap purse, they're very, very heavy. And this one here, it wasn't, it wasn't expensive, but the material I like because it's like a soft canvas, but it's sort of like a rubbery canvas, and so it's really going to be great for spring. And it's going to fit everything in there, and I won't have to take my flashlight, which I always do, to find things in my purse. So, uh, what else? Um, oh, my lighting. I, I can't even look over there because I'm, I'm, I love candles. I like dim lights. I like my, I'll have to show you that sometime too. I have a volcano lamp. It's all red and it goes everywhere. And I bought one for my grandson for his birthday. His birthday was March 6th. I haven't seen him yet, but eventually one of these days, I guess I'll see him. And um, I bought him one with batteries, but mine is the plug-in kind. And I either have that going or I have candles all over the place because I do not like bright lights. I just don't like bright lights. Never have, never will. I like cool sunny days. I hate hot summer days. You'll know, you won't find me. You'll never find me sitting on the balcony in the sun because I just, I don't know how people do it, but I can't. Anyway, so I do have, I'm not looking over there. I do have, Holly picked me up two LED lights and they're on 
two lamps that I have without lampshades so that I can be in my best lighting here for this and this is the best I can do because I've made sort of like a kitty corner all around the room here so I've got my computer on a, on a table here and then I've got uh, my tray which holds a lot of my tarot books and everything and different stuff and then I have my my eating table over there and the only problem with this table is that there's a little slant on it this is actually I think it's a card table and I dropped and broke my comfort zone palette <laughs> that was one of my favorite palettes and of course it had to break on the side that I loved using you know there's like two sides to it and the side that I always used one of them is totally gone one of the colors the other ones are all cracked anyway so that's gonna I'm gonna have to empty half of it and just use half and I'll have to order another one I guess and I also dropped a brulee eyeshadow which I had been waiting for for ages and finally got it and I didn't even get to use it it fell on the floor off this table because I put it here and it went kerplunk and it broke so I broke in two palettes what else did I break but uh, I think that's about it oh I almost broke my RC because I fell out of a taxi um, a few days ago I, I thought I was sitting in the taxi I don't know if I told you but I was sort of sitting half in and half out and one half of me was not in properly and I ended up sitting on a rainy slushy parking lot with my RC all very wet on the way to dialysis and one of the reasons I didn't come on this week was because I've been in a lot of pain. Not in my back, in my legs, because my legs are always in terrible, terrible pain. But when I fell out of that taxi, it didn't help. And so I can barely move my right leg and I'm hobbling around like, like, like somebody who hobbles around. So, anyways, I'm here. I'm alive. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's, it's, tomorrow's Friday. And then it's the weekend, another weekend. And on the weekend, Saturday... You're going to be seeing my iPod in action because I'm going to my old hairdressers who's having an open house. It should be a closing house because they're closing. And they've invited me to go along. And I'm going to take all kinds of crazy videos there because they're all a bunch of real nuts. That's also where I get my pedicures done. And these, these, these women that work in there, oh my God, it's like something out of a movie. If you guys remember um, Dolly Parton's hair salon there in... Um, something magnolias well it's it's something like that it's it's really really fun it's called hair razors so i'm going to be bringing my ipod out on saturday and i shall be filming i'm also going to do an ipod filming of my cats because you gotta know about my cats my cats are just so special and uh, oh congratulations cat with magic on your new little spunky the little siamese cat but I gotta show you guys my two cats because they are so special. For example, last night Bogey, I was holding him and he got his claw stuck in my shirt. Now any other cat would be having a fit because his claw is stuck. And I'm trying to get his claw out of my shirt. And what is he doing? He's licking my hand. He's the most gentle, gentle baby. Anyways, I have to tell you the story about my two cats, how they came to be and everything else. So that's it. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know I'm all alive and welcome again to all my new subbies. And I do try to thank you personally, and if I've forgotten anybody, I'm really sorry. But uh, I'm, I, my time is kind of all over the place. And uh, have a great week. I sh oh, and congratulations, Karen and Charlie, on selling your house. And uh, Oh, and I'm going to be drawing, speaking of Karen and Charlie, I'm going to be drawing the tarot card reading next week. And with Karen and Charlie, I was right on, because I told Karen she was going to sell her house at the end of February and she called me up and she said if you're right she said I'm gonna whatever and she sold her house she sold her house and I'm so happy for them so they're going to Florida and they'll be close to Disneyland and uh, I think that's just great so everybody have a great great time and I'm about to go stick a roast pork in the oven and see what damage I can do to it so hasta la vista Bonjour de Montréal, and we'll see you soon. Most likely I'll see you on Tuesday if all goes well. And my sister's knee replacement went really great, and she's ready to run a marathon. Oh, and she's moving into my building. <laughs> she's moving into my building, and I'm really, I'm really, really happy that she is. But my sister doesn't like being alone. 
And I sort of like being alone. Oh, and there's a romance going on in my life that I can't talk about because it's complicated. But it's somebody I've had my hairy eyeballs on for the last three years. And he's reciprocating. But like I said, it's complicated. So I can't talk about it because I don't know who watches my videos. And um, nothing is going on yet. But sure is fun with what's happening. <laughs> anyway, you're never too old, honey. You're never too old. So, love you all, Mwah. and take care, and uh, see you soon. Bye.